Namaste and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to give you more information about listening module in IELTS academic and IELTS general training. So uh, if you have not watched our introduction to IELTS, please click on the description. You have a link already being provided for the same video. Kindly watch the video before you start watching this one so that you will have a complete information about IELTS test and then uh, we can take it forward and then you can have a complete learning about the same. So let's begin with the listening uh, module training. Okay, so listening module is very unique in its own way because I am sure that you know uh, during your education and schooling or pre-university or university um, you wouldn't have attempted uh, a similar kind of a tests. So uh, this will be totally different for you um, and uh, it will be unique. Okay, now uh, cutting short, let's go on to the actual details about the module. Listening module is consisting of four parts. So each of these parts will have 10 questions. So in total will be 40 questions. So when you get correct answers for each question, you will get one mark. So this will compensate to 40 questions with 40 correct answers. So 40 marks, very simple. Now these 40 marks is converted into bands and uh, the bands, how it is converted, you will have the table right here. So you can know if you're scoring certain amount of marks. So how much that will convert into bands. Now let's move on to the next part, next step of our training. Now listening test, as you know already now, four parts, each 10 questions, 40 marks. Now what is there in the first part? First part is a conversation between two people. Generally in this conversation, the accent which will be used in the conversation will be either Britain or American. Either one of them, it will be a slow paced conversation. I mean to say it will be easy to catch up with everything that the person is talking in the conversation. So you will have these 10 questions. Now follow the prompt when the recording is played because the recording is only played once and you will have absolutely no control over the audio. I mean to say you can't read the, you can't neither stop it or pause it or rewind back and then play back again. So all of these controls are completely not available for the test taker. So what is with you? The only control that you will have during the test will be the volume rocker. So you can increase or decrease the volume. So apart from this, you will have absolutely no control over the recordings. So pay more attention and uh, listen to the audio or the conversations carefully to answer the questions. Now, I was, uh, as I was talking about the prompts, the prompts will clearly tell you what to do or how many questions to read. So in the first part, in the beginning, the prompt may say that read one to five. So only read the number of said questions because the amount of time given for you to read these questions will also be adequate for only five questions. So after you have read it, wait for the conversation to begin. And when the conversation begins, you can answer all the five questions. Now, after this is completed, Again, the prompt will say now you have time to read six to 10 questions. So follow the prompt. So as the prompt tells you, you read only those many number of questions in your entire test, you need to follow this. Now, uh, it is generally seen that the first, second and third part of your listening test will be divided into two parts again within itself. But the number of questions may differ depending on the conversation. Okay, coming to the next part, the second part is a monologue. When I say monologue, it is only one person going on talking in general. So the first two parts will be on general topic. I mean, there is nothing specific that you need to have a technical knowledge to understand this conversation. So in the second part, it can be like a tour guide who is giving the guidance about the tour or about a map or he's describing about a plan. Okay, so uh, a person who is uh, narrating what all kinds of arrangements made for an event. 
So these are the kinds of uh, you know topics that may come across for you in the part two. So again, here you have ten questions, and um, you will have two parts. Uh, I mean, it will be divided into two parts. So you need to follow the prompt and answer the questions. Now, before we go to the third and fourth part, there is one uh, important thing that you need to know: a skill that is required for your listening test. There are two skills which you need. One is a quick reading. and the second one is very very important attentive listening when i say listening it's not just listening attentive listening okay all right now let's move on to the next part third part third part is a conversation again now here a minimum of two person will be there in this conversation and uh, it can be more than two when i say more than two uh, it can be three or maximum four so i can say in this conversation you can expect two or maximum four now this is not certain that it will happen to you that you know you would know even before the recording begins how many people will be there in the conversation it's not possible only when the conversation begins then you will realize how many people are there in the conversation and uh, so attentively listening to this part is very essential okay coming to uh, the questions yes again third part is split into two uh, like you know the prompt will tell you how many questions you need to read in the beginning and the rest of the questions in the next part so here the third part will be based on academic based topic so i can say when i say academic third and fourth both of them will be academic related topics Uh, so how is it going to be academic so it, it's very simple that con uh, the person in the conversation will be students or faculty trainer professor tutor guide someone like that or only students among the students they are discussing something on an assignment or on a project that has been uh, given to them that they have to submit so or probably they are talking about their opinions about the uh, subject that they are studying upon so all in all i can say it is a discussion so when there is a discussion that so pay attention to it because each one of them will be giving their opinions so these opinions keep changing during the conversation so pay attention to it to get the correct answers now uh, moving on to uh, furthermore uh, for the next uh, part that is fourth part fourth part is again monologue again one person going on talk, uh, talking about a particular topic and uh, so in this type of uh, con uh, in this part the intended listeners will be like students so it means uh, the person who is narrating in the uh, part will be uh, a subject matter expert or a professor or scientist an achiever in some field so generally it will be uh, like you know the conversation or the person is trying to educate on a particular topic so here again uh, uh, you know uh, the pace of the conversation will be uh, the fastest compared to the first three parts so when i started in the beginning like first part uh, two people conversation pace is easy to catch up second one will be moderate second part third part will be moderate plus and fourth part will be definitely faster compared to all the rest three so pay more attention and uh, one last thing about the part 4 is you need to read all the 10 questions in the beginning before the conversation begins so here this is how it is going to be tough for you because the pace of the conversation is faster one person going on speaking about something you need to read all the 10 questions to answer that part now uh, this will end uh, uh, the information about listening there is more information which is going to come up very soon so stay tuned to us by subscribing and pressing the bell icon if you need more info apart from what i've given to you uh, then there is also a number contact number which is given in the description which you can call and get more information about the same so thank you see you in the next video of reading